Tax bracket creep occurs when a rise in your income due to the rate of inflation pushes you into a higher income tax bracket. Okay, so first let's define inflation. Inflation is the increase in the general price level of goods and services, and it's usually measured as a rate of increase over a one-year period. When prices rise without a corresponding increase in your income, your purchasing power decreases. You have to pay a larger percentage of your income in order to achieve the same standard of living you enjoyed before inflation. Let's take a look at a simple example to illustrate the point. Consider a person making $50,000 per year and paying $10,000 in rent. The share of their income that they spend on rent is 20%. Now what if there is 10% inflation, but this person's income remains constant? Now the person has to pay $11,000 per year in rent, but still has $50,000 in income. As a result of inflation, the share of their income that they spend on rent is now 22% their purchasing power has decreased. So how does this affect income taxes? Well, let's say we have a simple income tax code with three income tax brackets. Individuals making zero to $10,000 per year have a 0% rate. Those making between 10,000 up to and including 100,000 have a 25% rate. And anyone making over 100,000 has a 50% rate. Now let's assume that inflation is 10% and pre-inflation income is $100,000 per year. This person's tax bill is then $10,000 times 0% plus $90,000 times 25%, which equals $22,500. Their effective rate is $22,500 into 100,000 times 100, which equals 22.5%. Now let's look at their post-inflation situation. Their income has increased at the same rate as the rate of inflation, so that's good, but watch what happens. They have been pushed into a higher tax bracket with a 50% marginal rate. So the $10,000 in extra income yields $5,000 in additional taxes. This brings their total tax bill to $27,500. The effective rate is then 27,500 into 110,000 times 100, which is 25%. We see that even though their income increased at the same rate as inflation, their effective tax rate is higher because the tax brackets were not adjusted for inflation. This is tax bracket creep. Okay, so now let's see what happens when tax brackets are adjusted for inflation. So here we have the same pre-inflation situation. Income is $100,000, the tax bill is $22,500, and the effective rate is 22.5%. After inflation, the brackets are adjusted. Now people making zero to $11,000 per year have a 0% rate. Those making over 11,000, up to and including 110,000, have a 25% rate and anyone making over 110,000 has a 50% rate. Again, this person's income has been adjusted for inflation and is now $110,000. So the tax bill is $11,000 times 0% plus $99,000 times 0.25, which equals $24,750. To get the effective rate, we take 24,750 into 110,000 multiplied by 100, which is 22.5%. So now that the tax brackets have been adjusted for inflation, there is no bracket creep, and this person pays the same share of income in taxes as they did before inflation. So why does tax bracket creep exist? Well, inflation is a natural economic phenomenon while tax codes must be adjusted through policy. It may take longer for tax codes to be updated than for inflation to take effect. Also, central banks try to use economic policy to keep inflation under control, generally at an annual rate of about 2 to 3 percent, but they don't always succeed. So that's tax bracket creep and inflation. Thanks for watching.